So, bro, have you have you advanced at all in your understanding of Jesus, or do you still think he's not God? Okay, so again, well, we talked a lot last time, didn't we, in that in that video? So we won't cover the same bases, I don't think, again. But it's again other scriptures that we haven't talked about that I was looking at, like for example, who is the head of Jesus? There's a headship arrangement, as we know, in the um, that you know I'm talking about the head of a man. Um, Christ is the head of the congregation, yep. but who's the head of God according to that scripture that I'm referring to? Do you know the one I'm on about? Um, the headship arrangement? So the, the, the source, Christ, Christ is eternally begotten of the Father. So the source of the Son is the eternal generation from the Father. That's why he is divine. Um, but this is, this is not to be understood as ontological subordinationism. Now, do you accept that the, the Son is eternally begotten of the Father? Okay, so when you look at scripture such as, um, let's say, 1 Colossians chapter 20, yep. which speaks about him being the only begotten Son of God, that he was created by God. No, it doesn't say he's created. Um, okay, um, other reference, so other parts of scriptures. No, 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 let's go to Colossians, because you just said something that's not true. Okay. And, and this is because... Not, okay, that doesn't say created. Well, let's look at what Colossians actually yeah, says. Say same, so. Okay? So in Colossians, it says, We give thanks to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. And then it goes on to speak about Christ. And then it speaks about Christ in these words. It says, For he rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created. By him all things were created. If all things were created by him, yes. that precludes him from being part of creation. The word, the word there for all is the word pan, like pangea or pantheism. It's universal, it means everything. So if he is the firstborn of all creation, for by him all things were created, all things were created, then that means he's not part of creation. Okay. So... But he was the, he says the firstborn of all creation. Right, great question. So, so let, 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 let yeah. the firstborn of all creation yeah. means he is the, the firstborn of preeminence in creation. So let me explain what that means. In Roman society, yeah. when you wanted to adopt a son, if you didn't like your birth son, yeah. You could adopt another son and call him your firstborn, okay. and that means that he had primacy over your natural born son. But you can't use these examples, I'll tell you why. No, I'm one, well, no, 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 one, no I'm going to finish my point, I'm going to finish my point. Let me finish my point, please, let me finish my point. So, when, when, when it says that he is the firstborn of all creation, yeah. it means that he is the first in eminence amongst all created things. Because his flesh was created, remember? Right. So he is the firstborn in that sense, that amongst all created things, yeah. he is in eminence. And the Romans of that time would have understood this teaching. Okay. But, you know, that the scripture you were referring to, they, they were born and they were flesh. And, I mean, Jesus completely emptied himself. JC, don't run off, because... What's this now? We're just... We're just it's a discussion, but don't run off, because I really do want to go now. Hello, yeah. yeah. You. When you finish, go. Yeah. yeah. Where, where, where will I find you? Okay. Great. Go on. You were saying. Just, just your... Yeah. Well, go on, bro. So yeah. And um, so yeah, Jesus emptied himself, didn't he? Let's everything. no. Let's not jump. Let's not do no, the Jehovah's okay, Witness no, no, trick. No, let's okay. stick with Colossians. Yeah. Okay. That's what Jehovah's Witnesses do, and I know you've okay. hung around with so Jehovah's Witnesses. Maybe something else linked with. No, that, no, no, so. no. Let's deal with Colossians. Don't do the Jehovah's Witness dance. Okay. They jump around the Bible. Let's deal sure. with the fact okay. that it just said okay. that all really things good, were yeah, created. Yeah, yeah. Well, but there's nothing wrong all with things, that, as long as they all, all work things, together. all things were created by Him. Right. So if all things were created by Him, He can't be created, can He? Okay. Um, he, well. They, they were together in creation, so we know during creation, Jesus and his father, they worked together. But that doesn't mean that um, Thank you. Jesus didn't have a beginning, and that's where other scriptures come in as well. No. Because even that one we just read does say... The firstborn of all creation. And I know you did explain... Because it's that, this idea... The, I don't know if that's a religious the, lens the, you're the, using. The Roman, the Roman culture would have understood this. But, but let's read on, because just think okay. about what it's saying. 
it says that all things were created both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. Now, if all things were created through him and for him, that is something that is only due to God. If, if Christ was created yeah. himself, the things that were otherwise created couldn't be for him, they would have to be for God the Father. But it says all things were created through him and for him. Okay, sure, but doesn't, but of course the Father has, um, that's his creation, it's like a gift, it's like his son, you know, if you, your dad wants to give you the best and he wants to reward you, and it's the same with father and son relationship, that's why they're called father and son, and I think that um, even what you said Yeshua to this, you know, couple before, yeah. gives glory back to God, doesn't it, because it just means, um, and like Messiah and Obadiah, it all goes back to Yahweh and your, you know, salvation is, is to, to, and it always goes back to glorying the father glorifying him because he's so loving he's, he just wants to give he gave so much to jesus that actually he wants us to even worship him in the future which um is the but, millennial but, but, reign but but the the, the thing that you're missing yeah, 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 yeah. is that it says that all things were created through him it's talking about when it says all things right, right. were created it's talking about everything mm -hmm. i can't emphasize this enough in the greek that, that it means everything which means that nothing in creation I get that. Can't, no, it means it means Christ can't be part of creation. Listen no, to what I, it I says. Agree, but I do agree. Sorry, I do agree with you. They work together. That's what I'm saying. No, it's no, it's saying he is before creation. Where sorry, it goes, it says okay. he is before all things. Okay, sure. In or, verse 17. Okay, but that's where we need other scriptures as well, because again, we've got to ask, what is all things? Are we just talking about the universe? See, we're talking about infinity. We, we're talking about God as. I believe he was alone. He must have been alone at one point and thought, let me, he, he wants to become a creator. He so, made so, Jesus so, and then he made everything so what else you're, what, through Jesus. So what you're saying is the Bible is wrong. What it should say, one second, what it should read, yeah. you, according to your logic, yeah, yeah. what the Bible should say is this. It should read like this. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for by him all other things were created. That's what the Bible should say if you're right. Okay. But it doesn't say sure. that, does it? No, but that's where other passages come in because we don't, this is where it gets quite deep. We have to look at the original translations. Yes, um, the I'll, all, you know. In I'll give you an example, John 1.1. 1, 1. It's like where it says the word was God and uh, it was actually, it was the God or a God and they took out that from, you know, I believe like, for example, certain Bibles, the writers had a Trinitarian lens and wrote the scriptures and in, and things were... You've, been, you've in, been influenced by an American cult called the Watchtower. You've been influenced in your thinking. The scripture that we're reading, I'm not going to do the Jehovah's Witness dance. The scripture that we're reading okay, we doesn't say all other things were created by Christ. Okay. Which if it did, means you win, I lose. Sure. But what it sure. says, sure. what it says... It okay. says all things were created through him. Okay. So that means if all things were created through him, he is not part of creation. Now let's come back to this firstborn of all creation bit, because the same passage gives the qualification to the firstborn. It says it in this. He is also the head of the body, the church, and he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. Okay. So it's because of the resurrection that he is called the firstborn of all creation. Because okay. that happened in creation. Sure, but I thought God doesn't Shut have up. a beginning. God, God, God Make me! Yeah, I thought God doesn't have a beginning. He's... Um... Yeah, exactly. So listen, listen to this. Listen. Because you, 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 well, you've, you've defeated yeah. yourself. Okay. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning. Now tell me, what can come before the beginning? Um, infinity, so like, like our Father, Yahweh. What can He's come before the beginning? Before the beginning? Yes. Um, well, this is it. Um, if God has been here forever, it's so hard to fathom. Really, it? this is not a hard question. Okay, maybe, yeah, go on, you can answer it. Nothing. 
I knew, I knew, see, I was trying to avoid saying nothing because... Because um, you don't want depends. to accept what the Bible's no, teaching. What beginning are we talking about? See, it's like John 1.1 1, 1, that talks about a beginning the, as well. The, the, question, what, the, what the, question, the, the question fits within the context. Bearing in mind that in the Greek, it's using the term pan. Pan means everything. So if he is the beginning, he is the beginning of everything. Your logic means that that can't be applied to Jesus, but, but it is being applied yeah, to Jesus by Paul. In our senses, the universe. See, if Jesus was the firstborn, the way I see it is everything as in the universe, the earth, everything as we know it. Yep. Because they work together, but Jesus was created according to other verses. I mean, it talks about headship there as well. I mean, Jesus is the head of the congregation. Yep. And I did ask you before, who is the head of Jesus? And I, and and I, and I, and I said you that did. he is the eternally begotten of the Father. Because okay. right, so Jesus Christ himself says, I have come from my Father. Sure. But I think we won't go, we, we had a long discussion last time. And again, without going into so many other um, verses, we, we, we can't build this, but we will next time, I think. For me, I tell you, um, the, the problem I've got is, is looking at things with a religious lens. I know you talk about Jehovah's Witnesses, but I think all religions have the same problem now. And, but you're doing the same thing. So, because you're reading, you're, you're reading the scriptures from a neo-Aryan pers perspective. I, I, I want to point out the importance of this. If you don't believe, mm. now, if you don't believe that Christ is the beginning of everything, if you don't believe that he is outside of creation, if you see him as a created thing, then the following does not apply to you. Because what it says goes on to say, he is the firstborn of the dead, so that he himself will come to have first place in everything. That's Pangea again. For it was the Father's good pleasure for all the fullness to dwell in him, and through him to reconcile all things to himself, having made peace through the blood of his cross, through him, I say, whether things on earth and things in heaven. If you don't recognize yeah. that Christ is eternally of the Father and you limit him to being a created thing, then you are not reconciled to God. Okay. You yeah, stand outside sure. of but salvation. We, we talked about that last time. Again, we won't go into it, but that was 1 Corinthians 15, where I mentioned that, um, well, we, I, I don't want to go into it, because we had a whole video on it, yeah. where God gives, well, subjects all things to Christ, and uh, puts everything under his feet, give his, gives him the kingdom, so that during the millennial reign, Jesus is immortal. In fact, Jesus was the first one to rise who became immortal. And I've, and I've showed you the scriptures last time where we talked about Jesus ha having, um, he didn't have life with the, in, him, in himself before, he was given that by his father. No, that's not what the scriptures and, um, say at all, and you didn't show me that. What you did is John, you misinterpreted. John chapter five you you misinterpreted, and yeah, you, 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 and you misinterpreted every one of those texts. But you know what? We won't go into this. There's another question I wanted to ask. But, but, I don't know but you, you, you misinterpreted okay. every one of those texts. I want to leave you with these words. Okay, done. Again, from the passage that we're studying yeah, please, Colossians chapter 2. For in him all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form, and in him you have been made complete, and he is the head of all rule and authority. If the fullness of deity is in Christ, yes. could deity be created? Okay. That's the question I want you to answer. Can deity be created? Okay, so this is where I, I mentioned the third other and tertium quid, where God has given him that immortality because Jesus had to prove his life course and, you know, he had to... Um... That, that's not answering my question. Can deity be created? Um, well, he earned it, he earned it. Still he earned not it. answering because my question. The question is, can deity be created? Okay, so no. 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 So if it says that all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form in Christ, that means that Christ cannot, the Logos can't be created. The person of Christ can't be created. Sure. But, there you go. Okay, but yeah. Are you open to other sort of subjects linked with this or maybe, maybe next, maybe, maybe maybe next yeah, week? Yeah, yeah, the long day. But I, I want you to yeah. sit on what you just said. If you say that deity can't be created and you accept that the fullness of deity dwells in Christ, then that means that Christ's divinity is not created. And so what we are talking about is an uncreated son of the father. 
yeah, we'll, we'll talk on next time. Have a think about yeah, it. Yeah, Let's yeah, talk yeah, again next week. But it's been a, 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 a tough day, long. As peace be with you. Long, yeah, Not peace be with you. Busy. Have a good day. No. Can, I, can I give you a book? It was nice to I talk to you. Gave it to me last time. I gave you. I gave you a book last time. You did, yeah. Did you read it? Um, I flick through it, but haven't read it yet. No. I want to give you another book. Here you go. This is what Christians believe. Okay. And this is a gift. I, to I you. know you introduced. Sure, but I know you introduced your church last time. But this is where Revelation 17 and 18. I find. I mean. God is condemning all religions, calling it a whore and riding upon the wild beast and how God it's, it's very self-damning, isn't it? Let, let's talk about that next week. Yeah, we will. Uh, sit on what you've sit on what the conclusion, the natural conclusion of your own logic. If deity can't be created and the fullness of deity dwelled in Christ, then Christ himself is not created. He is an eternal son of the Father. It's logical. All you have to do is accept it, bro. There's no point. Why fight logic? No, Why fight reason? It's not that. It's like last time when you want to explain everything with the three dimensions and you think that's the end of it. And just because you mention the three dimensions, that something so deep as in, you know, the... Um, what do you think I explained when I talked about three dimensions? Because um, someone tells me you misunderstood it based on what you've just said. Okay. Um, well, you, we were talking about... I, I was trying to say how... God the Father is a separate being to Jesus and you were just trying to show how this three dimensions exist that um, God the Father and the Son and exactly what I was showing in that analogy yeah. is just to show that singularity and plurality can sit together quite comfortably without any problems at all that's all I was showing by that Sure, but again, you know, there's, there's so much, you know, it's like, I even watched one of your videos, I think you had a chap here who, um, you showed a scripture about Abraham where there were the three men that visited Abraham and, um, and you're saying, well, okay, the Trinity, because you see three there, but then when I even look into that, I, I thought, okay, let me look at the surrounding scriptures, I found out that the, um, the two angels, yeah, the, the, the two men were actually angels because um, you see in the next chapter that um, when I read on, and well, anyone can see it, that um, the um, it, it's about Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, and I know. Lot. I know what happens. And, Don't worry. Yeah, and there's the two angels there. Yeah, but angel just means messenger. Right. Okay. So that doesn't preclude them from being divine. Sure, but um, so but my point is, bro. Yeah. yeah. You, 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 I, I want you to. Don't don't resist truth out of pride. No, no. This is why I left organized religion. Yeah. Because so then... um, and what I'm calling you to do is is to the genuine orthodox faith that is two thousand years old, that comes from Palestine, that was founded by Jesus Christ and upon His teachings. There's nothing wrong with with bringing yourself in humility before the Messiah yeah, and I'll saying I accept the, you for who sure, you Pastor, are. Do you know the problem I have? All right. I'll let you have yeah. the last word and then we're going to go. Is that Galatians chapter 5 talks about freedom in Christ and when you talk about the church and how you said it was based upon the apostles and so on I, I get that I believe the apostles and disciples they were the last you know there were no prophets after them um, that there'll be no more further revelations after them but that doesn't mean but also scripture showed where Jesus warned ravenous wolves will come along and bring in their sex and their ideas and teachings and um okay brother yeah, i'm, I'm going to stop there yeah, yeah, but i would ask yeah. you to think on the fact that you can see that deity can't be created and the fullness of deity was in christ no, thank I, you. I, I i think on that for a week and let's talk about it again okay. I'll, I'll, flip, I'll, I'll have a little look at that and i'll, I'll we'll do it as a borrowing and I'll no i'm giving it you as a gift this is my gift to you no thank you read it read it you better god bless read you it. Like look after yeah, sorry yeah. about pouring the drink away but um, I did like it. <laughs> no, no, and since you gave it to me, I didn't. I didn't want a litter. Oh no, so, uh, it's all right. Yeah, yeah. God bless you. Yeah. All right, cheers, guys. Take anyway. care. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Cheers. God bless you. Yeah. No wrap up. That's it. No we'll wrap up. No, okay. A very quick. Wrap up. Is it still recording? It's still recording. So very quickly, the brother comes here to argue that Christ is a created being, but he accepts that deity isn't created. So if deity is not created and the fullness of deity dwelt in Christ, then that means that Christ himself is not created. He is the eternal son of the Father. Christ himself says that he has come from the Father, which means that the son receives his divinity from the Father. 
And if that is full and complete, then that means the Son is uncreated and as divine as the Father. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Bob Sila.